Welcome to the first of two videos on the applications of the Law of Sines. Let's go ahead and take a look at a problem. Standing on one bank of the canyon, a surveyor notices a tree at a bearings of 115 degrees. Then the surveyor walks 300 meters. The bearings of the tree is then 85 degrees. What is the distance across the canyon? Let's go ahead and make a sketch. Let's say this is our canyon, and this is the first position of the surveyor, and this is the second position of the surveyor. And on the other side of the canyon, there's a tree on the edge of the canyon. Remember, bearings are measured from due north. So if this is due north, the bearings to this tree would be 115 degrees. So this angle here is 115 degrees. Then the surveyor walks 300 meters, so the distance from this blue point to this blue point is 300 meters. And now the tree is at a bearings of 85 degrees. So measuring from due north, this angle here would be 85 degrees. And the question wants us to determine the distance across the canyon, which would be this distance here, let's call it D. Let's go ahead and take a look at our sketch and see if we can fill in any additional information. We know that this angle here of 115 degrees and this angle here inside this red triangle would be supplementary. So 180 minus 115 would give us 65 degrees for this angle. Next, in the red triangle, we know the sum of these three angles must equal 180 degrees. These two have a sum of 150 degrees. So this angle here would be 30 degrees. Now we can't determine D in one step. We're going to have to determine either this distance here, we'll call it X, or this distance here, we'll call it Y. Once we find either X or Y, we can use a property of right triangles to determine D. Let's go ahead and see if we can find the length of this side here, which we're calling X, using the law of sines. Since we know this angle and the opposite side, let's start with this ratio. The sine of 30 degrees divided by 300 meters must equal the sine of 85 degrees divided by x. Now that we have a proportion, we can cross multiply. x times sine 30 degrees must equal 300 times sine of 85 degrees. Now we can solve for x by dividing by sine 30 degrees. And now we'll go to the calculator. 300 sine 85 degrees divided by sine 30 degrees, which is 1 half. So x is approximately 598 meters. So x is approximately 598 meters. Let's go ahead and label that. Now we should be able to use this right triangle to determine the length of D or the distance across the canyon. So I'll write an equation that involves this angle, this side, and this side. And since this side is opposite this angle, and this is the hypotenuse of that right triangle, we can say the sine of 65 degrees must equal the opposite side divided by the hypotenuse, or D, divided by 598. If we put this over 1, we have a proportion. Let's go ahead and cross multiply. D times 1 would be D and 598 times sine 65 degrees would be 542 meters. And that was the distance we were looking for, the distance across the canyon. Okay, we'll take a look at another problem in the next video, but I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you.